Hi, it's Joe. Welcome to the Quilt Report. Well, uh, there's been a lot going on around here. Uh, last Sunday night, we had the opening of the G's Bend show out in the gallery. Uh, and I've been here working all week on my uh, beagles and barcode. I'm making good progress on it, as you can see. It's a little bit oversized. It's going to get trimmed down. Uh, it's going to get some more stuff. This is not quite pinned, I mean, sewn in yet. This has to get sewn in. Uh, but it's going to uh, be what I wanted it to be, 4,000 beagles and, um, and a barcode. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's going real well. That's how you want things to go. The problem uh, that I've had is it's a, is a little occasional bits of fullness because I'm cutting everything freehand on the curve. Uh, every, it's all curved lines. There's no straight lines in here. So uh, when you do that, you're inviting fullness into your life. And I've certainly got it along the bottom. Uh, it's not too bad. I've been trying to keep everything flat. But that's the, that's been my challenge with doing this. Uh, uh, but uh, so far, I think everything is manageable. Uh, but it's fun. And it's completely different uh, for me to be doing something that's um, uh, a new technique. I've worked in plenty of, I've, I've cut plenty of curves and sewn plenty of curves before. But to do the whole quilt uh, with curved seams was uh, uh, a new thing for me. So I've got this uh, sewn on, and then it's going to get uh, some stuff across it. And uh, then I'll sew this in and then be able to put it on the quilting machine and quilt it somehow. I'm not sure how. Uh, but while I'm quilting it, I'll be able to look at the uh, quilts from G's Bend that are out there in my gallery. Let's go take a look at those right now. These are quilts that were uh, selected by Loretta Petway Bennett of G's Bend and Rita Romeo, uh, a great friend of mine who came down from New York to Alabama and uh, went through a bunch of quilts with Loretta and picked out a whole bunch. And from them, I selected uh, these eight that are on the walls here. It's been a real uh, thrill to have these uh, fantastic quilts in my own gallery. This one is uh, by Loretta herself. It's called um, stripes without the stars. You talk about metaphorical content. That's got it. I love that quilt. There's pockets. Loretta wrote notes to Rita and me and put them in the pockets. It's so nice. This one is by uh, um, Betty Seltzer. All right. This one's by Betty Seltzer, the late, great Betty Seltzer. Oh, what a quilter she was. Uh, and this is a typical G's Bend quilt called Housetop. And uh, they, there's a million of them around there. This is Housetop. The next one is a Housetop variation. It's called Housetop number six. Housetop number six. Uh, let me see if I can raise this up and see any more of it. Yeah, like that. Uh-huh. It's a beaut. I like the way the section on the right was added at some point. Well, when she was making it, just to uh, make it wider, obviously. Yeah. This one by Rita's sister-in-law and partner in the uh, Loretta's sister-in-law, uh, Marlene. Uh, uh, they do the uh, 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 retreats in G's Bend together. Uh, you can find out more about them with uh, Vacation with an Artist. I love this one. It's huge. I can't reach the top, so it's tall. Um, here's Rita Romeo sitting here, standing here. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have the microphone on my head, so it's, I don't know if you'll be able to hear her at all. But uh, it's been great to have... Uh, Rita here during the uh, business hours that we're keeping, 11 to 5, Wednesday through Sunday, to come and see the collection. And one more by Belinda, right? Belinda, yes. And uh, what's your last name? Petway. Belinda Petway, of course. So, oh, no, then there's a whole bunch more. Okay, 
See ya. Uh, um, uh, we all, oh, a reader named this one, Diamond in the Rough, Diamonds in the Rough. Um, that's a, a, a very nice full-size quilt. Uh, would look good on any bed. <laughs> uh, this one um, by Marlene. Uh, oh, you can recognize her way of using new um, uh, solid colored fabric. She's a very modern quilter from G's Bend. And one more that's a, called a Lazy Gal quilt. Here you go. It's a Lazy Gal. Guess why they call it that? Ha! Loretta did some repairs on these old ones to make them presentable, uh, and I love them for that. So if you're in San Francisco, come on by and um, uh, see these quilts. See what it's like here uh, in my gallery at 1803 Market Street. All right? Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon.